Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. The most handsome Linux user right here. Can't lie, I'm looking pretty good right now, but <laughs> anyways, you should learn to program before you actually start uni. And I mean, like if you're going to be going into computer science, like if you're watching this channel, you're probably more academically minded. You're probably interested in going to uni, probably learning computer science or engineering or something. And these programs, these uh, courses include programming. And I'm going to tell you right now, I am so grateful I started learning programming and programming fundamentals and stuff before I started uni because let me tell you, you're going to thank yourself because I'll just get straight into it. I just had an assignment for my Python class and let me tell you, this assignment was hard. This was hard for me and I had like C programming experience. I did, you know, all this Linux stuff. So like I've got my way around computers. I've been, you know, with computers like my whole life basically and this was hard for me. Like, let me tell you, this is a lot for me. I was like, damn. And I was like, there's people in this course that have zero programming experience. I'm like, I would be dying. I would be dying. And just like the dog. <laughs> and I'm telling you, the best thing you can do really is if you're starting uni soon or, you know, maybe you got like a year before you start uni, it's just, just start teaching yourself, okay? CS50, you know, I'm not sponsored, but CS50, by um, Harvard course, David J. Mallon. Very good, very good. I haven't completed it. I haven't been really having the time for it recently, but let me tell you this beautiful course. It's like, just, you learn so much and they start you right. They start you with C, which is a very low, or it's not low level programming. It's a high level programming. So, okay, essentially you got like binary. That's the lowest level. No one codes in binary because it's just too complicated. You know, it's, it's just what the machines un understand. Then you got assembly language of your CPU. And back in the day, they would code in this, but it's very low level, very hard to do complex things because it's very basic. It's very basic. And then you got high level programming languages. And C was one of the first high level programming languages where you could do complex tasks very easily. And it's still used today. You know, Linux, the whole kernel is, well, not the whole kernel now. There's like some rust in it now. Um, like the programming language, but um, it's basically C. It's basically all C to my knowledge. And a lot of like low level applications, basically any kernel, probably Windows kernel and um, Mac OS kernel, it's all C because it's very fast, very like you manage everything. It's harder. The syntax is harder. It's more archaic, but you learn a lot. And the transition from C to Python is like, wow, like you just, you appreciate Python. You're like, wow, it just does everything for me. But you also realize like, oh, you know, it's a bit slow, you know? So you're not going to be like, you're like, oh, it's a bit slow for this task. Then go on C and you're fine with it compared to if you did Python and then you went to C, then you're going to be like, bro, why are they making it like so complicated? Like, <laughs> like why just Python? Like you're just going to be a Python brainlet. And you don't want to be a Python brain loop because honestly, uni prepares you to be a Python brain loop. If you have zero coding experience, you're going to go into it. You're going to learn Python and then you're going to learn these other languages, like maybe like maybe C++ or Java. And you're going to be like, what the, why am I learning this? Like I'm taking a Java class and I'm sure there's people that have zero coding experience. They only did Python and they're just like, what, what is this? But for me, it's like, oh, this is just C, but like a little bit weird. You know, it's just like, it's a little bit like it's object oriented programming, you know, but um, honestly, Get some coding experience if you're if you're actually like serious you want to be like a good student and you should be because let me tell you like what is the point in going into your degree and like like you're paying for your education like before it was your parents paying for your education but now you're paying for it it's going to be coming out of your pocket most likely most likely you know i'm going to be paying for my education i may as well learn as much as possible you know i may as well like fully maximize it why should i only like try for the bare minimum you know this is like kind of getting out but this is more like life philosophy if you're going to be paying for your uni degree, you know, then get as much of, get as much as you can out of it. You know, that's my philosophy. And, you know, just learn. You'll literally never lose anything from learning more and more. Like, you're not going to be like, oh man, I just, I wish I didn't learn so much. Like, I wish I knew less things. You're never going to say that. I've never thought about that in my life. I'm a very, I'm a very curious minded person. Maybe you are as well. I'm always curious about like how things work and how to like, deconstruct things and like how I can optimize it best for me. And honestly, like, I feel like this has led to like so much of the success I've already experienced in my life is that, you know, I'm actually curious about things. And most people are not curious. Most people, if you don't want to be 
most people are not curious. They're okay with just being told what they have to learn. They learn it and then they kind of just settle with whatever job they get. And that's fine. You know, if that's what they want, that's fine. But if you, you're watching this, maybe you're, you got aspirations. You have aspirations to bigger things. You want to achieve big goals. Then you got to be curious because the, I guarantee you this, all the, the billionaires, all the trillionaires, all the, all of them, they're very curious people. Like all the very successful people, they're very curious. They're like, okay, how can I maximize this? How can I do better in this? How can I, you know, learn more about this topic or X, Y, Z? How can I increase my value in X, Y, Z? You know, they are, they're very curious. That's the only way they could get there because if they weren't curious about that, they wouldn't have those questions in their head and they wouldn't like strive for something different compared to their peers. So I know this seems like I went on like a really crazy tangent just from you should learn programming before, but like it, it relates to it because if you're not curious minded, if you're not trying to be better than your peers in uni by, you know, just by having the best possible grades and trying to learn as much as possible, then like, what are you doing? Like, I mean, yeah, sure, you can just get the degree and just live life and stuff, but if you want to live, if you want to have aspirations and, you know, do something bigger, then you got to be curious. And this comes from, like, simple stuff, just, like, learning, like, programming and coding fundamentals before you even start uni. Because for me, it's like, I half listen. Like, I, li I, I try and listen, but sometimes it's like, you know, it is a bit boring. Like, oh, just, I know this. But it's much better to be like, oh, I know this, than be like what is a what is an object <laughs> what is a for loop like for me it's just like yep next next you know and then it's just like oh okay python you can just make everything lowercase like now it's just like oh okay i didn't know you could do this in python this is really cool like in c it would just be a pain pain in the ass you got to import something it's like oh no just boom you can just like call it so um yeah that is my rant i hope you gained something of value and uh if you liked please like this video, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.